Hey everybody, FunShotX here. Welcome back to Techopolis 2. Uh, back filming again. I was sick for about four days. <laughs> I had a horrible cough and uh, just body aches and it was, it was pretty bad. One of the worst flus I've had in a long time, but I seem to be mostly better. I still have a little bit of a cough. <coughs> yeah, there it is, of course, uh, as soon as I speak of it. And uh, But it's mostly gone. Hopefully it won't interrupt filming. Too bad. Apologies ahead of time. Uh, last time we, I gotta remember what we did because it was, it's been like five days since it recorded. Um, yeah, we got the, the lava, we got the bottler, there should be some bottles in here, and we set up our coke ovens for automation so we can import uh, coal into here, it'll put it in there and then spit it out here, and all of the creosote will go in here. Well, that is completely full now, or nearing it, um, so we need to actually do something with this. So let's build the assembler. And that's going to become right over here. Um, trying to figure out how far back. I don't know. I know it takes both items and um, liquids. But I don't remember. Yeah, so the items come in on a conveyor belt. The liquids come right underneath it. It looks like it's a 3x3. Three three. Power on the top, output the other side. So... Where do we want it? I think I'm gonna put it, let's let's give this one, that, and the one, two, three. Yeah, so I think the middle is gonna be right about, let's move it run wherever. Let's do it right here on this pole. Um, so how to build this thing. Let me go down to the first level. Cool, that's pretty easy, is that? Okay, so it goes across it. I'm gonna put it back here. We're going for it. That's the decision. Was it redstone? Yep, and a light. Goes there. Okay, level two. Those. Put the conveyor belts like that. That's not the right way. There we go. And then I assume make a little hut for it. Yep, okay. These. That should be everything. What do we hit? Yeah, that works. Okay. So input side here. Oh, let's set over there. Let's grab the pipes first. So they need to come right along there. I need a redstone signal for that, which I forgot to bring, but let's let's have everything else up in case I forget. Uh, so we're gonna put wood in here. So that's gonna be like that. And then output will be creosote, uh, not creosote, but um, Tink, uh, man, treated wood, there we go. Something like that. So we got a bunch of wood here. We'll leave a few treated wood in here because I might need to craft stuff with it. Um, so yeah, I was gonna get a redstone signal, so that. That's not a chest, give me a stick. So this should make our creosote start flowing. Not if I put it there though. There we go. You've got creosote, a lot of wood. Do I need to like set the recipe? Probably, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna say, how do I do a liquid recipe? Probably with a bucket. Um, I don't want you to actually start making those. <laughs> I've never used this thing, so who knows? <laughs> Let's go get a bucket so we can try and tell this thing we're making treated wood. And then we'll go look in the book and see if it gives us any hints. Um, I guess ceramic bucket's probably fine. Eh, let's get an iron one just in case. We're going to need them anyway. 
Okay. So wood like that with creosote. There we go. Now, how do I say go ahead and make that now? Oh, I need power. Okay, cool. So let's, oh, I didn't get a connector or a power cable. But that's probably good because it would have started making chests, I think. So it might good to be good to have a lever on this thing as well. But I think for now we can just let it run. Oops, let's put that bucket back in. Can I climb up on this thing? Maybe. <laughs> ah, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right. There. Yeah, I got it. It has a much larger hitbox than you'd think. There we go. And to there. These um, don't have the limits. Normally, when I play more engineering, you can only hook like four cables to these. You can hook like unlimited. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so now we've got power, so it should be crafting. There we go. That's easy. Wow, it is going fast. Nice. So now we have our uh, treated wood um, that we can use forever as fast as that stuff comes in. It's not coming super fast. If we want it to go faster, we need to put another pump. But I don't think we care because this is not going to make it very fast. It'll go through our whole supply. But we definitely need to keep a bunch of wood on hand. And we might want to get a fast hopper because this thing doesn't seem to be putting wood in here fast either. So let's get both of those done. I'm not using this one, so let's just use this rapid hopper, save us some time. And if we come down to one of these, that should be 40 stacks, should be plenty. I think I can put this back in there. Good. Cool. And uh, to automate this, we just have to say constant supply of oak planks here and we'll get plenty of treated wood out of here as long as we also keep some coal in here. Oh, did we like hit the max on this thing? No. Okay, <laughs> we did, but it quickly used it. Let's throw it on here. Um, since that's all that's required, I don't mind if this fills up with wood. That's totally fine with me. Okay, yep. Done. Okay, so let's then proceed with questing. Um, I think all of this can just go in here for the most part. I guess we have a bunch of extra we'll put in here. Okay, so quest book here. Um, I did compete, complete uh, some of these junk quests just like to get all these things. We're not going to use the uh, conveyor belts really, so just might as well get the tech bucks and not waste your guys' time. Same thing with little logistics, it's all just crafting recipes, so both those are done. Uh, as far as big machines, the only thing we need to do is the assembler. All we have to do is hit the checkbox. So that one's done as well. Um, so we're really on to elite techium, and that starts with getting unlocking silver and gold. Uh, we're going to need constant in blocks and advanced techium for that, which I should have. I'll need four of those and a research paper. Grab those. Okay, there's our silver and gold unlock. Do I need to? Nope, no tech bucks. Don't do that. 
Uh, so now if we go back to Ors or Us, uh, what did we have last time? Nickel? Yeah, so let's disable nickel. Um, silver and gold, it probably enables it for us, but just to be sure, we'll go ahead and do it. No harm. And let's get our prospector's pick and some colored stone. Kaboom. And we'll put this stuff together. All right, you know what we do with extras? Feed them to the beast called the void. Credit for all those, just some tech books. Now we need to uh, get them going. Um, what tier are these? These use tier five. So we'll grab, oh, I do have a bed now. So you guys don't have to watch the nighttime sky. Although I think the nighttime sky is actually prettier than the, the daytime. It's just so bland. The sky box is just, it's got some good, you know, stuff. But since I turned clouds off and I don't know, just it's very bland. <laughs> okay, twenty stone. Um, so iron, tier five. Uh, we're gonna need some more wood for our platform. That's a lot of wood, probably more than we need. Uh, we're just gonna keep going redstone caps. We'll, we'll switch when we get a significant upgrade. I think that's gonna be maybe like Electrum or maybe Diamond or something. Uh, is that the edge? That'll work. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ah, bring the builder. Dang it. <laughs> Always forgetting something. While we're over here, we should probably get two more miners as well. Um need more sticks, pickaxes, natural wood. Okay, uh, and then raw two drawers. Now we good? I think we're good. Nope, grab that mine. <laughs> the, whole, the structure plays are the whole thing I came over here for. Okay. Yeah, we can put the uh, silver here. Okay, cool. Working, working. What are the rates on these in our furnace here? Five to one, looks like that's as bad as it gets. It was kind of going up every single tier, but it looks like it kind of stopped at five to one. So we're happy with that. Redstone, go in there, please.
Okay. Throw you in here. And then we need to cook some into Electrum, and then tier six is just gonna be gold in the middle. What does tier six give us? Peridot. Ooh, nine things. Wow. Lead. Something unfamiliar. Diamonds, probably emeralds. Yeah. Sandstone. Okay, <laughs> I can just make sandstone. I have infinite sand. Rubies, sapphires, and crystals. Okay, so not emeralds. Emeralds must be another tier up. I made a lot of glass. Why did I make so much glass? <laughs> I think for the bottles, but we got a lot now. Okay. <laughs> Let's make an Electrum. Let me get like eight of it. The colors of the ores in this pack, like the nickel, the iron. What are these? Oh, ingots. Yeah, they're just very washed out like invar the steel especially i'm used to being colored like netherite here but yeah nickel zinc iron steel osmium invar they all look the same aluminum now that one looks different but that just looks hideous <laughs> has like no t shadow no texture at all these i need a texture pack <laughs> does anyone know a texture pack that works for this this mod pack because <laughs> these are just bad Okay, what are these from? All the ores. I do not like all the ores textures. Um, so that was that quest. Let's make just one support frame just to say we did. Or a few, I don't know. It's probably plenty for now. Chapter complete. That was one of the easiest chapters we've done. And we move on to thermal. All right, we're gonna unlock some thermal. Now, do I need to? That's the question. If we look at Elite, it's going to take Electrum Gears, and we just figured out how we can make Electrum, so that's not bad. Amethyst, which comes from the Resource Duplicator. Uh, well, how do you get the first one? <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird. It looks like it duplicates Amethyst Shards, but I don't know how to get the first one. Maybe we have to unlock something that would then add up another thing there. Probably. Um, and then lead. Where does lead come from? Again, a duplicator. Okay, it's probably something else we unlock. So we definitely need to get into lead down here, which takes this. What are you locked behind? Lead dust. Okay, so we do have to go through thermal. We can't skip it. Let's do it. All right, so Electrum blocks and advanced Techium. So we do have to make quite a bit of Electrum. That's not gonna be enough. Let me go get more silver and gold. And because these are haven't had a chance to just run for a while while we do something else, we'll probably just get some more colored uh, stone to help this along. That's when we generate it fast, right? I don't know why it takes so long to craft these. Sometimes it like has to think, how many stacks here am I gonna give you? Okay, so that generated it much faster than the other machine could have. We'll keep the extras here for a minute. Well, let's see, four stacks would be 36, so it should be 
pretty close here. Let's get our advanced tech in and our paper. I'll keep those just for now. I've got a buck here to get rid of. All right, you made me a few more. One more, please. I want. I only want one. Don't make two. Don't you make two? Oh, I made two. It's these machines—they just don't listen to me. All right. So that unlocks thermal, though. Huh? We probably need tech bucks for that. I'm gonna assume we do. No, we don't. It's so nice. Okay. Machine frames, how hard or easy are these? Electrum gears, silver ingots, and glass. Okay, we can do that. Give me some more Electrum. So again, it gave me one more than I cared for. Uh, do we have more silver? Not like I'll be able to find it here. Some glass. Uh, now that we have Electrum, though, we can make heavy engineering blocks, so we can make more of these metal presses. I'll make one for each of the, uh, whatever these things are, molds. <laughs> uh, yeah, molds. That's right. Easy peasy. Oh, two. Two machine frames. Oh, and we get a third as a reward. How nice, Ben. All right, redstone and gold. I think we just dumped all our gold into here. Give me like half of this, please. Three of those. All right, so it's got a few things. Magma Dynamo, so new power with uh, magma. However, unless it's been changed, the lapidary is just amazing. <laughs> um, and it's it hasn't changed. So that's, that's the next power we will go with. Uh, we have all the materials we need to, and we have infinite lapis, right? This thing is generating tons. We can just cook all this up, throw lapis in there, and it will generate with lapis. Uh, is it going to tell me? 40,000. I think it's 40 RF a tick. Well, un unupgraded. Maybe it's 20. I don't know. But one lap is generating that much RF. And we'll just put it into a storage cell and be fine. If we go up to diamond, it generates 500,000, <laughs> which is not that far away. Yeah, diamond is definitely your best bet. Diamond and lapidary is it will be our power system until we need to get into like uranium and power. Okay, so now we have uh, a few machines, and these are going to do a lot better. Um, we actually never built the ultimate or the uh, immersive engineering crusher, and I guess we aren't going to because we've got the pulverizer now, and that's going to be a crusher in a box, right, in a block, um, and that's the one that unlocks the rest of the quest. So let's yeah, let's just keep going down. Make a pulverizer here. So I needed flint, copper gears, and pistons. And I'm out of cobble. Oh, can you give me like a billion cobble? That's way too much. <laughs> give me like that many. Yeah, <laughs> dude, too much. Don't don't give me that much. I didn't ask for that much. I did, but whatever. Here, give me a drawer. I had to put all my seeds in there because they were taking up too much room too. Now you got a lot of cobble. Okay. Um, iron ingots, and we now have pistons. Uh, there we go. A bunch of them. I don't know how many we'll need, but now we got lots of pistons. Um, we're going to need copper gears. Let's go make a few of those. 
and I'm going to probably need a pulverizer for every type of ingot that I'm, or uh, ore that I'm creating, right? So we're going to be making lots and lots of pulverizers. Probably don't have the power to support that yet, um, but we'll be making more windmills and lapidary dynamos and all kind of stuff. We'll have the power out the, more than we know what to do with eventually. Okay, copper gears. Uh, now we just need flint. I have not gotten any flint. Is there a three gravel to one flint recipe or do we have to do something else? Oh, wonderful. I do have to make the crusher. Are you kidding me? Can I just get it vanilla wise? Like it's it's not there, but come on. Vanilla is going to work, right? <laughs> it's got to work because I don't want to make a whole pulverizer just to get flint. Oops, don't go in there. Go, yeah. All right, where is our gravel? Let's do two stacks. You're going to make me flint. Ready, go. Not looking good. Wow. <laughs> I have to make a pulverizer just for flint. And it's only a 10% chance. Okay, does the induction smelter take flint? It might not take flint. Okay, that could be our saving grace here. All right, Invar Gears, Blast Furnace. Let's try this. Uh, so Blast Furnace, we're gonna need a normal furnace. We're gonna need cook stone, smooth stone. Where's all our smooth stone? Cook me up some stone, please. Uh, Invar gears. Let's use yeah, half of it. We can get a few gears. We might need some more for something. I'll come back for those. Blast furnace is going to need a bunch of iron and that smooth stone that we cooked up. Okay. Just missing some sand. Okay, cool. So now if we grab a connectors and wires and just find a temporary spot for this guy, I think I'm gonna build another platform above all this stuff, but for right now, he's just gonna go here. Connector there, you there. And we'll just throw some gravel in there. Hope we get some flint. It looks like it's a one-to-one, -one. like we're just going to get flint and slag. Okay, cool. So I only really need to cook two. Oh, that was so good. I'm so glad to make a crusher. Like, I will. I'll, I'll make a crusher. I love the look of them. They're really cool, but they're very loud, and they take a while. And I want to progress, right? So now that we can get this pulverizer... Beautiful. And that unlocks lead dust. Lead dust comes from pulverizing silver ore at a 10% chance. All right, so let's grab a bunch of silver ore. Oh, I should be sleeping, huh? And I should be like throwing an upgrade in here. Uh, to get like extra output of stuff, but I think we can get this pretty quick. All right, put you online and throw some silver ore in there. Let's sleep and then look up how, how hard integral components are to make.
Invar, redstone, glass, gold gears. We could make that one. I think this is beyond us right now, not for much longer, but do we have a gold gear? We have enough to make a gold gear. should make this thing cook a little faster if it already hasn't make it a sled and oh, we got one okay so that completes the quest and this one give us bucks more bucks yay and now the research paper probably wants four lead yeah okay so we'll let this keep running um if we put gravel here Let's see if this works. Take this flint and put it here. Will that increase our output or output of this too? I can't remember. Haha, <laughs> I think it gives you better luck at getting this other stuff. Or it could have just been random. <laughs> well, we're not getting any, any gravel anymore. That's weird. Anyway. Who knows if it was beneficial. Okay, so we got the four of that. Uh, we're gonna need some more paper. Everything grows except for sugarcane. I need to plant more sugarcane because this stuff grows so slow. Oops. Paper, dust, 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 tachyum, that should unlock lead. Okay, I need to do some inventory straightening here. Some ores, probably just need to put in there. Excuse me. Okay, and I got some stuff to chuck. I'm gonna chuck this pick as well. We're gonna make a, a steel pick. You need to have treated sticks. But this one will last much longer, so there we go. Uh, probably can get rid of this shovel. And maybe even the axe right now, and probably that. Well, actually, I'm going to need that because we're about to get some lead. Um, oh, apparently we got one of the rewards for that. Cool. Uh, back to ores or us. We'll turn off silver and gold. Enable lead and go do another stack. Oops, wrong way. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> Forgot when you're only doing one of something. Oh my gosh, the lead gave us way more than normal. That is not normal. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, and this one seems to be fast too. We get like nine stacks of ore here. Oh, yeah, almost eight. That is a lot. Okay, so I 
definitely don't need the rest of you. And I can put a bunch of it just in here. Oops. Yeah, might as well cook the stone too. Fine, whatever. Um, let's then I assume this is tier six. So we need gold frames. So get this gold. I had a few gold frames here. We need another miner. Not apples, so I'm gonna grab some apples. Trap chest drawer. It's not fair. Um, some of those. Do I have more sticks? Whatever. All thirty-nine. That's extra than more than we need. Um, got the lead. We'll need some redstone toppers, and that's good. Oh, builder. I remembered it. wood to build the platform bigger. Okay. <laughs> One of these days I'll bring everything. Okay, so I'm going to need to cut down this piece here. If you didn't watch earlier episodes when we kind of did the testing on this, um, it's okay to have a higher tier on something. It's not okay to have a lower tier. So this gold will work fine with tier six on it. Uh, so one diagonal there. Oh, I hate when it does that. <laughs> it uses the lower tier, not the higher tier. It should just look in your inventory and say, what's the highest tier I have and use that. Okay, so yeah, this gold one will work with the good tier, and then the lead will work as well. A little bit of redstone, miner, and a drawer. So that's the first time we've like used a mod to get something and then like we got lead dust and we use lead dust to unlock lead everything else has just kind of been like randomly use some weird material to get unlock the next one we don't use gold to get gold for instance so that's kind of a new paradigm it's using uh actually i don't need this right we had so many stacks of lead it's probably all cooked up and waiting for us I only got a stack with all of that? Oh my goodness. Oh, man, I have more here. Cool. Okay. Little bit of cleanup. And I can turn a few quests in, I hope. Whoa, that was a big zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, so thermal, we finished off the north to south and then elite techium is lead sheet metal so we need to t turn it into plates do we need lead for anything else not that I'm seeing right now oh we can get a fluidux so we can stop using oh and flux ducks cool Stop using immersive pipes because they suck. Um, so let's put in plates. And give me like, let's just do 16 plates. Once we get the first four here. I think it's four. 
There we go. Lead, sheet, metal. Huzzah. Quest complete. So we just need to figure out how to get amethyst shards, which I guess is probably going to be part of this crystal mod, uh, which I think based on the name of this thing, the crystallizer, <laughs> is probably going to be how we unlock that. So next time we'll go down here, uh, we'll get the rest of the thermal machines set up, get some signalum, get some crystals, and hopefully unlock the crystal stuff. Um, I do want to take a little bit of time though, so may maybe before we go into that, uh, we start next episode with just unlocking all the other mods, right? So we need to get into trash cans for sure, just to bin stuff that we don't need. I want to unlock more storage. I guess I could just buy these? Yeah, you can just buy them if you want to craft them. So what's like a drawer controller if I make it? I don't know. Look like I lost four tech bucks to buy one. Um, but yeah, uh, frame to chip, don't care about. Um, if you run out of tech bucks, you can unlock recipes to create more tech bucks. So that's probably essential to do before we run out of them. <laughs> um, waystones could be good. I don't know if we're going to have a, a big enough base to really use waystones, but could help when I forget to run back and get stuff. Simple storage is going to be awesome. Uh, it could be a while till we get refined storage or AE. So having this just to set up a few simple automations uh, is going to be amazing. Um, building gadgets so I can replace all this wood with something that looks better, like treated wood. Um, that's just for colors. Time in a bottle. Oh, we need to get that quick. And elevators would be also be handy so I don't have to keep jumping from floor to floor. Uh, and then in advanced, no, we're uh, in elite. Can we get to elite? Niner, Ender, a temp pad. That would be cool. Let me just teleport everywhere. Flux networks. That would be great. I don't have to run things anywhere. You know I love me my laser I.O. And an angel ring. What does an angel ring take? Oh, elite techium. Okay, so most of these are going to take elite, which we're about to get, right? We've got the lead. We're going to be signaling the next time, Electrum, and I have Amalus soon. So these aren't that far off. And then we'll be flying with an angel ring. Oh, so nice. Okay. So yeah, I'm uh, in between episodes. I'm going to build a few more metal presses. Uh, and... Yeah, I think that's probably all I'm going to do, and I'll see you back next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like, subscribe button, comment below, and catch you later.